Good morning, Jim's Grill Deck. Uh, Jim here. It's Thanksgiving. We are doing two 14 pound turkeys on this Pit Boss Austin XL behind me that you see smoking. We are currently using Traeger's Turkey Blend pellets. We have one turkey with uh, the, the, this bag comes with the brine kit and the rub for enough for one turkey of the 20 pounds. So what we ended up doing was uh, one turkey got that brine and that rub and the other turkey got Meat Church's um, bird bath brine and we seasoned with honey hog. So we are letting this heat up. We will show you some pictures of the brine and the rub. We ended up brining on Tuesday, pulled it out of the brine yesterday, which was Wednesday, uh, rinsed and dried, and then rubbed, and then they sat uncovered in the fridge uh, until this morning. And currently my wife is making the stuffing that she just wants to stuff the birds with, and once those are stuffed, we will get them on the smoker here. So stay tuned, here's some pictures of what we previously have done to these birds and with the birds. Okay, we've got the uh, meat church here on the right, the Traeger here on the left. Meat probe stuck into the breast. We're running here at 225 on the Pit Boss Austin XL. 49 and 48. 48 would be the meat church. And it's at 185, suffer 225. In one hour, we will crank that up to 350 and start basting. The baste will be uh, butter. And I'll let you know what else we add to it. Alright, we're gonna turn this up to 350 now. It's been an hour. Both internals are running at 79 degrees. We are going to baste with butter and herbs. And basically, just want to get a nice coating on the outside of the bird. Butter makes everything taste better, right? We got Jules running the camera, so hopefully people can see me and hear me better. Jimmy's still sleeping. colors it's getting. This is the meat church. This here is the Traeger. Now the reason I have them on these pans is so that way we can catch some drippings and uh, make some gravy out of them.
All right, folks, each took a wing. This one here is the Traeger. This one here is the Meat Church. We're gonna dig in. Here you go. Thank you. This one's really, really good. Um, and the honey hog on it was a great seasoning to put on it. And folks, happy Thanksgiving. I agree. It's a really good flavor on the honey hog. Uh, thanks mm -hmm. to Pat, Matt Pittman for going with that suggestion four years ago. Hmm. All right, put that down. Let's grab the next one. Yes, as Jimmy said, Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, this is the Traeger rub. It was the Traeger brine. The Meat Church was the Meat Church brine, the bird bath, and the honey hog. I gotta say, the Traeger has a really good flavor on it. And as you know, we cooked it on the pit bus. The, um... The reason we're eating the wings is because they got a little crispy and we didn't want to leave that for the company later. Very distinct flavors. This uh, Traeger is herbal, where you're getting a lot of rosemary and thyme, a little bit of sage. Meat Church Honey Hog gives a little bit of sweetness and barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. I think both are great. I like uh, I like them both. I don't even know if I, like if I would change anything up next time. I would do both mm -hmm. the same way. So um, one night this week, um, he asked me to smell the Honey Hog since we've never used it, and he's like, "I think this will be really good on the turkey," mm -hmm. and turned out really good. All right. Well, thank you. You guys enjoy. Uh, Please like and subscribe. The holidays. Yes, thank you. Um, like and subscribe, and share with your friends. Maybe you'll do one of these for uh, your Christmas dinner. Happy holidays.